Hi everyone, it's Kara. I have a mini to share with you. Um, I am making this, or have made this, for a friend over at Mini Album Scraps. Um, and she likes pink and girly things, so that's what I went with. Um, I used three different um, smaller paper pads. This one, which everybody's probably already seen. This one, the Très Chic and then the cardstock that goes with it. And I use typically these smaller paper pads when I'm making mini albums. Not that I've made so many, but when I make smaller projects like mini albums and cards and tags, because um, not only is it less expensive and it takes up less room to store them, it's also, there's also less waste. So um, I like those because they're almost the perfect size. I have to cut off very little. So anyway. Um, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. This is like the fourth attempt I have made at this video. I've knocked the camera over, the phone has rung, my daughter's interrupted. So I'm going to probably be pretty speedy because I want to uh, get this video made and posted. So if I miss anything when I'm going through the pages and you want to know some detail that I don't say, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Um, I did upload a video not too long ago today um, showing how I made the cover, the lace part of this. So if you're interested in that, uh, interested in that then check it out. Um, I got this trim from an Etsy seller and this is a Hero Art stamp. These, um, this. The cardstock was cut out with Spellbinders, and of course there's some, I think that's uh, Prima Bling on there. So here's the back side, and I'm going to have to kind of flip back and forth because of the way the camera is located. Um, here is what that cover looks like. Nothing on it. And you can see it's kind of uh, shiny because I used gloss. Um, Mod Podge on it when I made it, um, and you should, if you're interested, definitely check out the video, um, both mine and the original where I got the idea, because I thought it was, you know, going to be really complicated, and it's not, it's super simple, and it is gorgeous, it looks really good. So, here's some of that beautiful paper, I didn't add anything to that. Tim Holtz stamp, you're going to find that I did not stamp as much in here. Um, as I did in the other one, because I wanted there to be lots of room for my friend to write. Celebrate Today is from Paper Tray Inc.'s um, Mega Mixed Messages stamp set. It's a little bit of that um, beautiful lace trim my friend Adrian sent me. Paper punched the edge of this paper. Gorgeous dress stamp, which I think is, oops, sorry, um, Inka Dinka Doo. This is a long envelope I folded and adhered the sides and made a pocket here and a pocket here. And this is just that beautiful paper. Let's see. And here is a tag that I adhered. It's one of the die cuts from Mini Album Scraps. Um, all the die cuts I sprayed with um, Lindy's Starburst sprays. Uh, and I used mostly the gold colors, if I remember correctly. Back side of the tag. Here's uh, one of the postcards. And of course, since it's girly, I got to add in my favorite dress stamp. It's a journaling um, tag that I stamped on, uh, secured with a uh, hanger clip. I think they're Tim Holtz. Um, this is a Hero Arts stamp, the grid that I used. Another Tim Holtz stamp. Lots of um, empty space for, um, like I said, writing. I want there to be lots of room for that. These little um, frames, I put a few of these in here. They are Kane Company. I hadn't used them yet. They're just little, they come in like almost a paper pad type thing and you punch them out and glue it on there and I think it looks really kind of cool. Works with the Parisian theme. This is a Hero Arts stamp. Life is sweeter when shared with friends. Another Hero Art stamp here in the dress form. Ornate die with the stamp. Some more of that beautiful paper. The backs are um, blank or I would show them to you. Um, a chandelier stamp that's Hero Arts. Lots of room for journaling. Some more of the gorgeous paper. Another um, ornate die. Another one of those frames right there. That's really cool. Uh, this is a mini paper bag from Michael's, the Celebrate brand. I made a pocket in here and a pocket at the top. 
some more of the beautiful paper and I added one of those frames around the words. Um, again, that's Cade and Company, another ornate. Here's another one of those really pretty laser cuts from Mini Album Scraps. It's a corset, which I um, actually added the twine to. Lots of room for, to write, a little Tim Holtz stamp. Some more beautiful um, lace trim. Hopefully you can see that from my friend Adrian. Lots more room to write. And this is one of the new heart stamps. Hopefully you can see that from Hero Arts. It's a cling set. I cannot remember the name right now, but it worked out perfect because it's got a very French um, theme to it. Um, oops, sorry, hit the camera. More gorgeous paper. More room for writing. That's Tim Holtz stamp. Here is another um, paper bag, a big black one, which again, I created a pocket here and a pocket at the top. Here's another beautiful laser cut from Mini Elm Scraps. Again, sprayed with Lindy's. It's obviously a chandelier. This tag came in the paper pack, so I cut it out and adhered it because I think it matched really well. More beautiful paper. Backs again are all empty for writing. Live Your Bliss, again from Paper Tray Ink, make a mixed messages. Another tag from the paper. Another laser cut from Mini Elm Scraps. Lots and lots of space for writing. Another one of those beautiful Hero Arts um, Hero Arts hearts <laughs> from that new stamp set. More beautiful paper. More really pretty paper. Um, I did notice on this one, you know, sometimes you get paper that has a lot of glitter on it and the glitter's coming off. This glitter doesn't seem to be having that problem, so it's kind of really nice to, that it stays on there pretty well. More room for writing. Here's another tag. I stamped on this one with a Hero Arts background music um, cling stamp. Both sides. More paper for writing. More beautiful paper. Some more of the glitter paper. This is a little pink envelope that I had. I cut, you know, sealed it and cut the top off to make a pocket. A little bit of an acetate. I think it's from Kane Company. More paper for writing. Another one of those really cute little hearts. This time polka dot. More beautiful paper, lots of room for writing, lots of room for writing. Here's the one main thing that I noticed that I messed up on in this, which I'm just going to leave as a little, oh, I don't know, something a little, you know, special about it, whatever you want to call it, is that when I adhered this tag um, and I stamped it, I stamped it the wrong way. So this stamp is actually upside down. But oh well. That just makes it unique, right? So, and uh, here's another um, Tim Holtz stamp. More room for writing, more beautiful paper, hole punched on the edge, more room for writing, another journaling spot. And there's the back inside page. I stumbled across these fabric flowers. They are Cane Company. I found them at my, one of my local Joann's and they're perfect, not only in the color, but that the fact that there's um, some, French hand, some French writing on some of it. Um, not all French, but it's got a little bit, so ended up perfect, put a little bit of um, black trim, and then on the back, it's just more of that beautiful lace. So, again, I made it pretty thin, as far as most of them go, so that it can actually be used and be functional. Um, I hope I didn't speed through this too fast. Um, hopefully you can understand, having done this, uh, almost completely four times. I was anxious to get it done. So if I missed anything, please leave me a comment, ask me a question. I love to hear from you guys. Um, I will get back to you as soon as I can and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't made one of these, I hope you do soon because they are a lot of fun. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time doing that for me. Have a great day. Bye.